Soft Martian sand has turned back one rover, trapped another, and killed a third. Now Perseverance has the option to drive through large sand ripples or across treacherous rocks to reach its next science target. So which is the better choice on this episode of Mars Guy? As I've reported in recent episodes, Perseverance has been struggling through the longest, gnarliest stretch of terrain it's yet encountered, probably the worst driven by any Mars rover. It's finally about to begin a new phase of exploration after months in the carbonate-rich margin unit, terrain that probably was at the margin of ancient Lake Jezero. Noret Vallis is a channel carved by flowing water billions of years ago that also dumped tons of sand, gravel, and boulders to form the alluvial fan and delta that Perseverance has now finished exploring. There's an interesting exposure of light tone outcrops in the channel that the team dubbed Bright Angel. Note that the grayscale portion demonstrates the challenge of getting contiguous color coverage by the orbiting high-rise camera. Bright Angel has been a long-term exploration target given the possibility that the rocks there could predate those of the margin unit. This would make them the oldest yet explored. But getting there is no easy task with large sand ripples blocking access to much of the Bright Angel rocks, the plan was to drive along the channel bank until Perseverance could cross at a location opposite the opening to Bright Angel. But recent images from the ground have revealed an ugly truth about this terrain that's not evident from orbit. There's just no easy way through it. The view from SAW 1157 was especially discouraging Here's Mars Guy for scale. I suspect that if Perseverance could react to the view ahead, it would groan. This is a rover that's routinely knocked out two to three hundred meter autonomous drives, but lately it's been reduced to drives less than a tenth of that, thanks to the rocky and sandy terrain. Faced with at least another 400 meters before crossing the channel, probably taking three to four weeks, it appears that the team has chosen to enter the channel here. Driving between the sand ripples could be a quick way to reach the train in the middle of the channel, which looks to offer much easier driving than the channel bank. But this is where it gets really dicey. The view from the end of the latest drive shows a thick deposit of rippled sand. Maybe Perseverance could get through there, but would you risk it? Once through, though, it sure looks like smooth sailing. The view just to the east looks a bit more promising, but would still require crossing over some large ripples. Here's how it looks from orbit, which shows a gap between the big ripples of about 5 meters, just enough for a 2.7 meter wide rover to clear with plenty of margin. This decision point is reminiscent of one faced by the Curiosity rover, when the team hoped to take a shortcut through a place called Hidden Valley. The rippled sand there was surprisingly hard to traverse, with the wheels essentially plowing through rather than driving over the sand, despite their substantial width. Curiosity had to make a retreat from this path and stick to the longer, rockier route. It's unlikely that Perseverance will end up stuck in sand in this location, but the decision whether to proceed still puts the rover drivers between a rock and a soft place. <laughs>